Joe Biden's big boy press conference turned out to be a big bust press conference. What the hell are we doing? And now even more members of his very own party are calling for him to step down. No one's saying that. Actually, everyone's saying it, like Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, George Clooney. Yeah. I said going into the press conference that this was a setup, that they were marching Joe toward a cliff and they were standing behind him ready to shove him off. And that's why I posted on X, this press conference tonight is a setup. Joe is walking to a cliff and the Democrats are standing right behind him, ready to shove him off. Joe Biden is wily coyote. He fell off the cliff. He plummeted down into the cavern with a little puff of smoke or dust or dirt or whatever it is that puffed up. And then on top of it, the Democrats are about ready to throw an anvil on his head. And the big problem is the problem started before the press conference even began. Joe Biden at the NATO conference was introducing President Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine, but instead called him President Vladimir Putin of Russia. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. These guys are sworn enemies. It'd be like Joe Biden introducing Batman as the Joker or Johnny Depp as Amber Heard. Everyone thought that was Joe Biden nailing the final nail into his coffin, but no, he just kept on hammering away. Hammer, 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 hammer. The very first question he received was about Vice President Kamala Harris and her ability to defeat Donald Trump should the need arise. And Joe Biden answered by referring to Vice President Kamala Harris as Vice President Trump. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President but I think she's not qualified to be president. He didn't even, he didn't even realize it. Vice President Trump. Didn't even know what happened. Vice President Trump. Of course, the internet did their thing and exploded with all kinds of memes where they took Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and mushed them together. I didn't know Kamala Harris could be any cringier until I saw her face smashed with Donald Trump. I think the two biggest takeaways from this big boy press conference are number one, Joe Biden doesn't even have the mental capacity to remain president for the next six months, let alone run for four more years in office. And number two, Joe Biden clearly has no idea what the concerns of the American people are. Leaders of his own party, other world leaders, everybody wants him to step back and let somebody else run for president against Donald Trump in November. No one's saying that. Yes, they are.